oxygen tank. Now this thing is tiny and can hold very high pressures, up to 2,000 psi. And I want to go scuba diving. I have the oxygen tank here. I bought this mouthpiece online for 10 bucks. I got an oxygen regulator here that comes with the tank. I got some various fittings here to fill the tank and connect the mouthpiece to the tank. Okay, to fill the tank, we're going to be removing this gauge right here. Then I'll screw this paintball fitting in. And what I've done to make a one-way paintball fitting valve is I've put a small O-ring and then I've added a screw on top so when high pressure comes on this side, it'll lock shut. All the fittings will have Teflon tape on them to ensure they don't leak. Right here is the output and we'll just slip this small tube on and a hose clamp. And we'll tighten this and this will keep the hose from coming off. Now we'll add a hose clamp and a 3 inch fitting for the tube. Screw the hose clamp on. We need to pour some water in this thing so the pump can cool the compressor. And this is only enough water to run it for a few minutes, which is just what we need to fill the tank. After that, the cooling water is very hot and steaming, and we're at 2,000 PSI. Alright, now we can disconnect this, and now we have a full tank of air. Now I open the valve, that it pressurizes the system, and we turn it to its highest setting, and you can hear air coming out. It works well. So we got the oxygen tank, and it's full, but I don't really want to transport it like this to my next filming location, so we're going to empty it in the pool. There's smoke coming out of it. And the ball valve is extremely cold.